Hello everyone, and here we are back with Chapter 4 on my gameplay of Banished with Colonial Charter 1.6 in a harsh, what I consider a very harsh setup with an Adam and Eve start. Now after, first of all, a shout out, thank you for the comment on my Chapter 3 about the video resolution. I have hopefully fixed that. So this will be back to the better quality. And again, I really appreciate all the feedback I'm getting on these because you guys are helping me to do this better and I hope you're enjoying them. Now, also in discussion with the folks over on Colonial Charters website, the forum, I was informed that the duck, the hunting blind, does is sort of a magical place, <laughs> I guess you could say. That is, it, because it doesn't have a radius, as you could see here, it, the things that you gather through the hunting blind just sort of magically appear in there at random times from the list of whatever it is you could collect. So what I am going to do is take that person out of there and put them over here. I'm only going to keep two over here in this building, but I'm going to put them over there because this way at least I know that I will have a pretty good odds of getting both my feathers and my leather. Okay, so hopefully we have the worst of our situation in the works for getting clothing on board. So what are we going to do next? Well, next we're going to get our school built and our tailor. Those are our two goals for this chapter. So let's bring in our tailor because the tailor, after all, is going to be able to make both leather coats and the survival ones. And when I do get my enough people, that is, too, at the same time, I will have my person stay on as the tailor pretty much for then on. Because the tailor is something I'm going to have to... Uh, at least I won't have to have them changing buildings, but I will have to keep swapping them back and forth for quite a while between making the survival coat and the hide coats so as to get some clothing on board. The other thing I want to build, now my I might as well cite it here while I'm doing all of this, I will put in my blacksmith right down here because that's going to go right next to my well, because there, if you ever watch your blacksmith, sometimes they do this little status thing, what they're doing, it pops up and it says they're putting out a fire. So we might as well keep a well very handy for them too, so that their building doesn't catch on fire if they kept to it soon enough. And last building I want to build and actually put into play here in this one is our school. And I will be using the new dock school, which just requires wood. And I'm going to put it, well, seeing as I don't really have anybody uh, living up in here yet, do I? Well, all of them, I, I do have my herbologist up there, don't I? So, okay, so I do need to keep it, I want to put my permanent one in there, so I'm going to, well, let's run my road over here a bit further then, this way, and we will put in the other one, even though I'm not going to be having them build it just yet. I really do like, this was introduced in 1.5, these are our one room schoolhouses which you can upgrade 
to be colleges. And I'm not going to have the resources to build that for quite a while, but I can get it sited. And let's put in our little dock school right next to it. And then once I have the resources to build the better school, where's the front of it? There it is. Kind of hard to see sometimes. There. Oh, now I've had one person grow up again. Let's see now. I don't think they're down here, are they? No, that's still a child. And they're actually getting to be too old to have children. So, yeah, they're up there. Okay, so we are going, because I'm going to be having, I, like I said, I have to wait till I have at least a few more adults. So let's see, well, let's actually put in a home right next to our barn here. Because those people can actually become my fishermen then. And there's not enough wood, of course. So, more wood cutting. Let's put a hold on the tailor for right now. And the school. Let's get the dock home built first. Got that, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I have screwed that up too, is I've put, I've put it off so that they get stuck in their house and they can't get back over to the dock. So, as I always say, save your game. And I am going to completely surround my little barn here with a walkway. So eventually, I could put a few other things around this little storage area. Like I could put in a water. We have a water scavenger. There's a lot of things you can build here. Now, I can't, unfortunately, build the rice plant. Well, I could build it, but I can't get it built. I don't have any rice. Some of the games will let you have rice as your food, in your food amount. And that, of course, means you can very quickly set up a rice planter so as to get that for a food source. So, very handy. How are we doing? We've got plenty of tools. Do we have any more feathers? Yes, we do. So, go make some more survival coats for us. Hopefully, by the time I actually have the end of this chapter, I'll have my tailor built. That's my plan here, is to get my tailor working and the school. Okay, start building things. Now we do have these other items, which I'm still kind of working out how you use. They're called uh, stay dry pieces. What you do is you have to rotate them in there so as to get them and you kind of put them in there and they're supposed to stop people from bobbing up and down like that in the water. But, and they can sometimes, very rarely, thankfully, get stuck down there. <laughs> so it is a good idea to use those. But to see, they're still going down, even though I put that one in. I've 
I'm not sure why that is, but at any rate. Okay, we have our new adult into his house. Let's let's get back to work on the tailor. I'm gonna let that one person go finish building my roads I just laid down. So let's see, you need a lot of stone, don't you? That's the problem there for you. So let's get some stone collected. Six coats so far. Wonderful. Well, eight. Well, that should be enough to clothe everybody that needs clothing, I would hope. Well, you must still have them sitting inside the storage. Alright, so what I've got to do, I guess you'd put them out to swap you. And this will cause them to take them out of storage. It's one of the other things I've noticed. For some reason, they want to leave them in storage. In the building. See, now they've got four clothing. Coats, whatever you want to call them. But I am going to switch you while I'm thinking of it. You're going back over here to the reed farm. Yes, I will be getting a traditional sawmill set up. That's all to come. But this is what I'm working with right now. How are we doing on stone, folks? Well, actually, you're still cutting wood. Okay. Gotta cancel what you're doing. There. Now focus just on getting me stone. How are we on iron ore? We have 37. Not too bad. I'll have to get some of that, too, here shortly. When I go back to working on this, I'm going to get a lot of supplies out of here. So, I don't think I'll have to go hunting for iron ore anytime soon. And where is my builder? What are you doing? Why aren't you finishing these? Oh, you are. You're building that road. Okay. Yep. There's a lot of roads to get built now. Okay, how are we doing? enough stone. And this is getting full. So I'm going to have to get my market. Not that this is a, I guess you could call this a medium sized market. It's not a small one. But it's not as big as our plain game, the one we had with um, the original Vanished game. This one, what is now called our rural market, it doesn't hold as much as that. But it, because it only requires wood, it is an excellent one to use here. 
early on. And I, I'm not sure when I'm going to build that exactly just yet. Actually, I'm going to take you off of building roads so I could get this stone collected. Because I really thought I could get this all done in 20 minutes. I'm already past the 50 minute mark. Okay. Got a good amount of reeds. So let's put you, swap you back again. Do we have any feathers? Nine more feathers, and we're out of coats again, so you're making me coats. Well, it looks like we're almost there, stone-wise. Oh, and we lost our first person to old age. I thought so. We hit year nine. I don't know. It seems like I can never get quite to year ten before having someone die from old age. And yes, that is going to mean happiness level is going down because I don't have a cemetery built, but I will get to that when I can get to it. And, well, let's see, how are we doing with our kids? We have three kids. Where is, Okay, she will be an adult very shortly. But now I'm going to have to wait even longer before putting someone on board with being a, in the school. Because like I said, I'd like to have at a minimum eight adults. And no, now she grew up, or is that a guy? Hmm. No, that was a gal. Okay. So I'm actually going to get another one here. Well, that'll be great. I could put them into being the tailor. I might have to go a little over the 20 minute mark. I should have all my goals done. I should have my tailor built. And I should have my school established. Actually, let's put you both over on as builders. Get that built faster. <laughs> there we go. Now, take one of you off and put one of you over here on the tailor. And let's get our school built. We're actually going to put, well, actually, I'd rather put the well, when I get this one built, I want to put a well right over here. But that will be when I am done with this school. Like I said, I like wells. And as soon as the other, other gal, oh, I'm going to need a house for her, aren't I? Yes. She's going to need a house. Well, let's see. Ah, uh, see, as she's probably going to be a teacher or something. Let's put another house. Right out here. Might have to put in another walkway here.
And there she... Nope, not yet. So let's put in a bit more walkway. There she is. Now, we could get her house built. And I will have my eight adults. I can put keep one of them available as a laborer and one in the school so as to catch my one other child. Where's my one other child? You haven't had any kids yet. Hmm, he is four years old. So it's going to be a little while before he's ready to go to school. When I put them on as a teacher, and if they don't have someone in school, the teachers will run around acting as laborers for me, just like anyone else. When they have nothing to do, they will act as laborers for me. So let's get that house built. And then we are going to put her over into, well, whoever is going to be the free one, into being the teacher. And I will get them started working on the cemetery once again. Because as I said, that's my big project to do while I'm waiting for kids to grow up and be born and get educated. Okay, there we go. Now you're both going to come off of being builders. One of you is going to become the teacher. And now we're going over here and start work again on our cemetery. Notice that they did get that gravel road pretty much put in. And how does, doesn't that look cool? I really like that. And it is going to look even nicer when they finish building the surrounding dirt road. Wait till you see how that looks. But that will be coming in future chapters. So that is going to be the end of... Oh, and I forgot. I need to put you strictly on fire bundles now. And I will just be swapping them back and forth until... Look at all the... Oh, look at all those coats. Wonderful. Anyway, this is going to be the end of Chapter 4. And I hope you're enjoying this. And please feel free to give me your own thoughts on this. And if you have ideas on how to do things better, I'd love to hear them. Because this is a very challenging way to play the game. And it is not easy to do. So anything we can all do to help each other out, I think that's fantastic. See you in the future chapter.